Which side are you on now? Which side are you on? Storm surge and fires burn, but you don't give the call. Because fossil fuels are controlling you, do you not care at all? Well, it all kind of started back in January. Um, I watched Greta's speech at the World Economic Forum, and I was pretty disheartened afterwards, not going to lie, for a few weeks. Um, I kind of felt powerless, and then I brought all my friends and I to the March 15th strike here at the Capitol, and um, I had written a poem the night before about climate change for a school project, and when I was at the strike, my mom was like, you have to go present that. Like, it's just so appropriate um, for what's happening right now. And so I went up and shared. And ever since then, I've just kind of felt like my voice belongs to this movement. And this is where I can really uh, make changes and, you know, be the change that I obviously want to be when it comes to climate change. So that was my origin story when it comes to climate activism. Sunrise Movement is youth-led um, activism pushing for immediate action on climate change and the climate emergency. That includes uh, ecological justice and um, political change and cultural change. Youth-led activism is especially important in climate change and the climate change debate because it is youth that are going to be most impacted by what our political leaders who are m mostly older, middle age, even older than that, um, decide to do, they're going to see far less of the effects of climate change than youth today are going to see. And so it is important that youth have their voices heard and that youth are the ones who are, are pushing for this change. And it's great that adults are coming in and saying, yes, we agree with them. We want futures for our children, but we need to be elevating and supporting youth voices. So um, climate change is so important because it is an all-encompassing issue from racial justice and um, income inequality to health care, access to health care. It covers everything. It's a national security threat, a migratory threat. It kills people directly through heat waves. It encompasses all parts of the ecosystem, human activity, everything on the planet is affected by climate change. Um, you cannot talk about an issue like racial inequality without talking about climate change. There, it, it, it's broadband, it's not just one issue on its own, it's all issues. Um, and in dealing with climate change, what some of our most progressive leaders have done is they have taken all of those issues and said, let's deal with all of them at once. Um, as a method for counteracting the um, economic damage that's going to be caused by um, dealing with climate change. Right, so um, Sunrise Movement is going about this through organizing youth strikes, organizing protests, working with other um, climate uh, organizations to get change, talking with elected officials, and getting petitions signed. So what really first got me involved in climate activism is I used to live in Davis, California. Um, I moved to New York City a year ago, and so now I'm involved in a lot of the organizing there. Um, I'm a weekly school striker in front of the United Nations headquarters. I've been out there for every Friday for the past 49 weeks. And so, but what made me really get involved in doing those climate strikes is after moving to New York, I was still connected to my family who still lives in California, so I ended up visiting them during Thanksgiving. Um, and during that time period though, the couple of weeks before it happened, um, during the couple of days before Thanksgiving happened, the Paradise Fire broke out. And so Davis is very close to Paradise and it ended up in really covering my community in smoke and a lot of Sacramento and the surrounding communities. And so because of that fire, it had inflamed my asthma so much it made me very sick, and so for my health and safety, my family had to send me back from that trip early. And so I had gotten back to New York City, and I was very sick. Um, I was upset, and so I ended up being um, really wanting to do something. So I started to research about wildfires. I had seen a presentation about California's wildfires, and that made me really want to take some sort of action. And so after seeing Greta Thunberg speak at COP24, I saw what I could really do to 
turn my climate anxiety and turn it into action. So that's why I ended up going and striking on December 14th, taking my first form of activism. And so it was really because I wanted to protect my community, but also how the climate crisis is affecting communities all around the world. So um, with 350 Sacramento, it's a local nonprofit organization. Um, over summer, we planned and held a youth camp for climate action. And so what it was is we took um, the Sierra Club movement organizing manual and then we kind of used that to have a curriculum. And it was a group, about 30 kids, um, well not kids, young adults, um, from 14 to 24. And we all went camping, it was three weekends over summer. Um, and there we did a lot of well, movement organizing with the Sierra Club manual. We taught them um, how to build a base, um, about political power and how to locate it and use it. Um, so overall, it was just an experience to get people involved in climate activism and for the people that already were, um, maximize their impact and show them you know, the ropes and how it's done properly.